But in a place like Gibraltar, I think of Gibraltar as an amazing, unique place in the world. Uh, and yes, of course, they don't have access to resources. And, and yes, there are even physical limitations when it comes to space. But what I do find here is the right attitude. Uh, and to me, this is a unique place in the world precisely because government is able to work very closely with the academic world, with professors from the university and experts and members of the private sector uh, and all, they all come together to try to find solutions to their day-to-day -day problems and they're very dynamic and they're able to reinvent themselves if they have to. Um, that doesn't always happen in many of the other governments uh, where I have uh, worked before. And so again, that's something that I admire about, about this nation. Gibraltar, in a way, is a unique place because of its human talent, because we have so many talented people that are willing to take risk, are willing to get up in the morning and fight for their ideas um, and do everything they can to be more competitive. So as long as, as that spirit continues to be alive in Gibraltar and as long as uh, government and private sector find ways to work together and, and bring um, research and scientists and businesses together um, and, f and, and they try to find a common um, front, and then, then, then I, I, I remain very, very optimistic about the future of Gibraltar. Can I ask you what you discussed with the Chief Minister this afternoon? We talked about the competitive landscape of, uh, of Gibraltar vis-a-vis -vis some of the other competitors. Uh, we talked about the importance of education and research and innovation. Um, we talked about um, what is it that the government can do to bring foreign direct investment uh, to Gibraltar. Uh, we talked about what happened uh, in the United States uh, last Tuesday and the fact that Donald Trump is now the president-elect of the United States and that will have a, a very significant impact when it comes to the bilateral uh, trade, economic and political relationship between the United States and Europe. And, and so these are all very, very important issues um, and th those are things that we should be concerned with. Mm -hmm.